All right, so today we're doing, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this last assignment, or one of the last assignments, uh, solving logarithmic equations with exponentials. All right, number one is, uh, I, I'm gonna have to say it's one of the trickiest ones because first of all, you don't see a log base, but if you don't see a log base, then you automatically are gonna have to assume that this is gonna be a log base 10. All right, so this is log base 10, and for you to use what we learned today, we're going to go ahead and exponentiate or take the, or make this base 10 both sides. And then we're going to have the exponent of log base 10 of 3x plus 1. And that's going to equal log, or base 10 of 2, right? So that's going to allow you to cancel all of that right there, and you're just going to be left with 3x plus 1. That's going to equal 10 squared or 100. Okay, the rest of it is just you're going to solve it. Any method you know how, I'm going to go ahead and subtract 1. So it'll be 3x and write it over here equals 99. And I'm going to go ahead and divide it by 3. So I get my final answer of x equals 33. Okay, and the rest of them you're going to work just like that. <clears throat> so number 2, since this one does have a log base ready, we're going to go ahead and exponentiate or make a base 3. So this is going to be base 3 with a log 3 of x. That's going to equal base 3 of 5. All right. So that's going to allow us to just rewrite this as just x equals and 3 to the fifth power. You're going to figure that out. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Okay. I'm going to do it on the calculator on the side. 3 to the fifth power. That's going to get you 343. You will need to confirm that by doing it on your own. Okay. Next one, we got log base 3 again. So we're going to go ahead and exponentiate this with base 3, both sides. And we're going to have base 3 with log base 3 of 2x plus 1. That's going to equal 3 to the second power. And again, by doing that, we've allowed us to just get the argument and this will be 2x plus 1 it's going to equal 3 squared is 9 and again you're going to do what it takes to get to the answer you're going to subtract 1 so we get 2x equals 8 and then we're going to divide it by 2 and we get x equals 4 okay this one we have a log base 5 so we're going to go ahead and exponentiate with base 5 both sides, so we have base 5 of log base 5 of x minus 10 equals 5 squared. Okay, and again, that allows us to just rewrite this as x minus 10 equals 5 squared is 25. I'm going to go ahead and solve this by adding 10 to both sides, so you will get a final answer of x equals 35. <clears throat> okay, this one, I'm going to go ahead and start off with dividing it by 2. So we are left with ln 3x equals 2. And I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this with a log base because some people are having a hard time understanding the natural log or the ln. So ln, which is a natural log, is actually a log with base e. So ln is actually log base e. 3x equals 2. And from there, now I can see that there's a base e. So I'm going to exponentiate and do an e, big E on both sides. So it'll be e to the log base e of 3x equals e to the second power. Okay. And that allows me to rewrite this as just 3x equals e to the second power. Okay. Now this one may need a little work. So let me give me a second. Oh, where's my, hmm, have to excuse me for a second, I need my, oh, TI, Text in Instrument Emulator. Okay, so this one. So I'm going to go ahead and do this with. <clears throat> e squared, so we have 
e squared that makes 7.389 and there's a there's more numbers but you know we'll take it to that in a bit then we're going to go ahead and divide both sides by three and that should take us to the end so again on my calculator I'm going to go ahead. On my calculator, I'm going to go ahead and leave that 7.389. I'm, I'm just going to hit divide by 3. Okay. And that's like going to be give you your best answer because all that, all those extra digits are stored in the calculator. So we have X is approximately 2.463. Okay, that's number five. Number six. This one is already written in terms of a log. Again, if you're not sure, rewrite the ln as a log base e. Okay, and if you write it like this, you'll see that the base is base e. So you're going to go ahead and exponentiate or put a big old e on both sides. Whereas your equation, the log equation, is now your exponent. And then just as usual, just copy the rest down. Okay, so this allows you to rewrite this without the log. <clears throat> and you will only be writing x plus 2 squared equals e to the 6th power. Okay. On the left-hand side. Sorry. Yeah, on the left-hand side, you're going to go ahead and and work this out or or not let's see what's e to the sixth power so e to the sixth power um well actually let's get rid of that square first right so to get rid of the square let's go ahead and square root both sides right so then that way we'll only have we will have x plus two actually we don't need the parentheses anymore x plus 2 equals we have a positive and a negative whatever that e to the six square root e to the six power is so i'm gonna go ahead and type this in so you can see square root e six power like that and you do need all those extra parentheses that's going to be 20.0855 right so that's a positive and negative 20.0855 Okay, so something like that. Oh, sorry about that. I'm trying to squeeze it in. Okay, let me move this over a little bit. So I'm going to put down 20.08. Five, five. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to subtract two. So when I subtract two, and I'll actually write this one down. I'm not in the habit of writing it. But the minus two goes in front. And then your answer will be, you will actually have two sets of answers. X equals negative two plus 20.0855. Or X equals negative two minus 20.0855. Okay, you can do it on here. So you got 20.0855, and you can do that, and you can go and you can add negative 2 to it, or actually let's do it like how the, so I'm going to go negative 2 plus, and then I'm going to use that answer, and that's 18.0855, right? So one of my answers is 18.0855, that's one of my answers. My other answer is again i'm going to pull up that right there the square root of e to the sixth power that's 20 and then that's going to be negative two minus that answer and it's going to give me negative 22.085 okay
Okay. So you might be asking, well, there's two answers. Which one's right? We don't know. You have to take each one and you have to plug it into the X in here and see if you come out to be 4.8. That's the idea of it. Okay. The idea is if it comes out to be 4.8 or close to 4.8 because you're just approximating, then that's your answer. Okay. So let's try it. So let's put a eight. Well, let's start with 22. Right? Let's let's start with this one right here because I have this on my calculator already. Let's start with 22.08, negative 22.0855. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and go plus one. Okay, so it's that answer. And I need to do, I need to do a log base five of that. Okay, so that's negative 21.0855. And I need to log base five of that. Remember, the calculator doesn't have log base five. So I have to do a change of base. So I'm going to use a log. And then that number, negative 21.0855. And I have to divide it by, and then now I can, I can put in log base 5. Close that off. And then it looks like I also have to time multiply that by 4. Okay. So multiply by 4. So I get my answer. Oh, this one says non-real answer, which means, okay, which means that that's not going to work. So even if I can get an answer, it's, going to be um, not a real answer because <clears throat> remember a log function because remember log base five this value in here okay the furthest it can go so for the x the furthest it can go is you know it's almost close to zero it could go to one at one is zero but when x is negative or excuse me not even in the negative um, when x is uh, between zero and one, you have all these values down here. So this is saying, hey, let's put in negative 22. Um, and actually, we, we added one to it. So it's actually negative 21. But when we're putting all those numbers in, it actually means that it's on this side. It's on all the negative side, which means that it's not a real answer. So we know that this answer, the negative answer, doesn't work out. Okay? So it's not this one down here. But let's look at the other one. So that one doesn't work out. So I'm going to go ahead and cross that out. <clears throat> okay, so the other one is if we put 18 into the X. So 18.0855. So I'm going to go ahead and use that square root of, where is it at? There it is, right? So 20.0855. Oh, and then I um, to get that one, I, I subtract the 2. So that's 18.0855. Okay, I'm going to put that in here. So 18.0855. Plus 1 makes 19.0855. Okay, so that's what I'm going to put in right here. So in, in here, I mean, it's going to end up being 19.0855. Again, I can't do that on my calculator because I don't have a base 5. So I'm going to use log. Oops. 19, okay. So I'm going to need to keep that answer available. So I'm going to go log of my answer, 19.0855, divided by log of 5. Oops, that was two. Okay, get the answer, and then times it by four. And if I'm good, I should get close to 4.8. And I don't get 4.8. So that is interesting. So that means, let me try it one more time. That means that we have no solutions on this. So 18.0855 plus 1 is 9, so I'll be log of 19.0855 divided by a log of 5. And then I'm going to go ahead and try this. I'm going to squeeze in the 4 in the front. And it's the same answer, but yeah, 7.3. So either on number 8, I messed up somewhere or, oh, you know what? I'm putting it into the wrong one. Okay, why didn't someone tell me? This was actually number six. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, so. So that does automatically rule this out because I was putting in number eight, so it rules it out. But. Okay, so I'm going to put. 
in here. I was putting in number eight. Oh, that was my bad. <coughs> so it'd be out in. And that'd be 18.0855 plus two. Right there. And then I'm going to square that. Actually, let's do this first. 18.0855 plus 2. Get the answer. And I'm going to go ahead and square that. So that's 403. That I need to do natural log of that answer. And it gives me 5.999. And you can see that it's actually very, very close to the 6. Okay, so this one is definitely an answer. Okay, and then I'm going to try the other one. I'm going to go ahead and start with negative 22.08, and I'm going to put that into X. So I'm going to do all this um, pre-do pre it before. So negative 22.0855, and I'm going to add 2 to it, which gives me negative 20.0855, and I'm going to square that. Okay, 403, and then I'm going to take natural log of that. So natural log of the answer, and if this comes out to be 5.999 also, which is also pretty close to 6. So that means that they're both answers. Okay, so both of these are solutions. Okay, moving on. So that one was tough because there was two solutions, and we have to check to make sure that there's no extraneous or extra solution. <clears throat> okay, number 7. So back, back on track. Okay, number seven. This is a log base E. So I'm not going to write that down anymore, but you should know that this is log base E. So you're going to go ahead and do exponential base E, both sides. And that's going to be so E to the power of ln of x equals E to the power of 7.25. Okay, and that's going to just give you the x. And you just got to figure out what e to the 7.25 is. Just like that. And it gets you about 1408.104. So this is approximately 1408.104. Okay. Next one right here. This one right here, you're going to have to prep it first. So you are going to have to divide both sides by 4. So you will now have log base 5 of x plus 1 equals 4.8 divided by 4, which gets you 1.2. Okay, and now you can do a base 5, both sides. So I'll just write like that. Okay, and the base 5s will cancel, and you'll be left with x plus 1 equals 5 to the 1.2. Okay, so I'm going to figure out what that is, 5 to the 1.2. So that's 6.89. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and subtract 1, which will be 5.89. Okay, that's your answer for number 8. Number nine. Sorry, I'm going to clean this up. Number nine, you're going to have to divide by four, and it's not going to be a pretty number, but you know what? It's okay. So you will have LN, which is in log base E. 2x plus 3 equals 11 divided by 4. Usually you can have a calculator handy. 2.75. Okay. And since it's ln, which is a log base e, you're going to go ahead and exponentiate with a big e. So I'm just going to write it like this. That way it looks like I did a really big e. Okay. 
Okay, and these cancel, and you're left with 2x plus 3. Okay, this part cancels out, like goes away. Okay, equals e to the 2.75. You're going to plug that into your calculator. Type it in just like how I did, and then you get 15.642. Keep that on your calculator. You're going to go ahead and subtract 3. Okay, 12.64. And then you're going to go ahead and divide it by 2. Just inversing the operations. <clears throat> and so you get finally x equals 6.321. Okay. I'm not going to check it, but if you want to, plug it in and check it out. Okay, number 10. We've got... Divide by 2, it's going to be log base 6 of 4x. And then you still you got to figure out what 0 divided by 2 is, and that's 0. Then you're going to go ahead and exponentiate with a big old base 6. Okay. And that's going to, that's going to get rid of these, and you'll be left with 4x equals, and 6 to the 0 power, is 1 and you can check it out here as well you go 6 to the power of 0 oops no need parentheses and then solve for x x is going to equal 1 fourth or you can go 0. 0.25 if you want decimals okay 11 this one is a one third a quick way to get rid of a fraction is to multiply it by the reciprocal. You can divide it by one-third, but it's not going to help you. Well, it will help you, but it's going to get a little difficult for some folks. You can divide it by one-third, right, both sides. But some people are going to be able to do this, but some people are going to get stumped right here. Okay, what's 7 divided by 1 divided by 3? All right, so instead of doing that, my suggestion is to not do that, but to go and multiply both sides by 3. Because a 3 over 1 cancels with a 3, and the 1 cancels with 1, and you're left with log base 2 of x and then plus 5 equals 7. Okay, this one I'm going to assume, okay, so this one's a, it could be ambiguous for some folks. This one I'm going to assume that the x is not, is, is with the log and the plus 5 is not. Okay, just the way it looks. All right, and if they wanted the 5 with it, it would have looked like this up here. Okay? So I'm going to assume it's going to be like that. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 5. It's going to give me log base 2 of x equals 2. And you go ahead and do a exponentiate this with base 2. So which will simplify this out to a 1. Sorry, right here. And you have x left. So your x is equal to 2 squared or 4. Okay, 12. You're going to go ahead, <clears throat> on number 12, you're going to go ahead and um, combine these. So you could do a couple different ways. This one, I'm gonna first, I'm going to go ahead and take this 2 and bring it to the back of the x as a power. So this is going to be rewritten as log base 4 of x squared. Minus log base 4 of x minus 1 equals 1. Okay, and then next I'm going to, I see that the, this is a subtraction, which means that I can do a quotient rule. I can condense this with a quotient rule. So this will condense down to log base 4 of x squared on top of a fraction and x minus 1 on the bottom of a fraction equals 1. And since this is log base 4, I'm going to go ahead and exponentiate or do a big 4 base on that and this is going to cancel out so i will have x squared over x minus one equals four to the one power that's four okay next thing is we're going to go ahead and multiply both sides by x minus one okay that way these will cancel and i have x squared left over on the right hand side i'll have four x to shoot that minus four if you bring everything over, 
you have x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 0. And this one, I, I think we can factor it. I think this is going to be x minus 2 and x minus 2. So my answer is x minus 2 equals 0 or x minus 2 equals 0. And the answer is x equals 2 or x equals 2. Okay? So we get the same answer, so I'm pretty confident it's, it's the right answer. That they're both the, the same right answer. Okay, 13. And if I'm erasing a little too early, if you need to, you can always pause it right where you need it and jot down some notes, right? I do encourage you to try these out as well and not just not just look for the answers. Okay. So 13, almost done. <clears throat> 13, um... This looks like a, a, a um, addition problem, so I can condense this using a multiplication um, backwards. So this is going to be log base 2 of x times 3. That's what this addition does. Oops. And this is equal to 3. So since this is log base 2, I'm going to go ahead and do exponentiate base 2 like that. Which means I'll be left with x times 3, or let's just call it 3x. And then 2 to the third is 2 times 2 times 2. You can use a calculator. That gets you 8. So x is 8 divided by 3. Okay, and the last one. Um, looks like there's base 2s on both sides. You can use uh, um, some of the earlier properties, but I'm going to go ahead and just kind of play, play, play dumb and just go, okay, they're both base 2. And they're both logs on both on each side, so I can go ahead and exponentiate base two on this side, and these will cancel. It leaves me with two x, and this also cancels, which is pretty cool. It leaves me with one hundred, and then divide by two, x is fifty. All right, that is a wrap.